hope you had a wonderful weekend and uh, we sure did with our conference in Columbus. And if you were not able to join us for the live stream, you can still sign up to watch the con whole conference online. Um, it's the next best thing to being here. The food's pretty amazing at our place. So we can't share that with you, but we sure can share a lot of great lectures and panel discussions and questions and answers. And um, I think you'll feel the camaraderie of it all, even at home. Um, another thing, a couple other things wellness forum related. Um, it is cookie class, uh, cookie time at Wellness Forum. It's that season uh, where we start shipping holiday cookies all over the continental United States. It's a flat fee that includes shipping and a gift box and label and all that kind of stuff. Uh, $24.95 for a dozen cookies. And if you want to order cookies, you can call our office at 614-841-7700. You can also sign up for conference videos if you want to do that. And um, boy, if you're local, you should come in. Like if you live in the central Ohio area, you should come over on Tuesday nights. We have cooking classes. And now that it's getting into the holidays, we'll do more cooking classes, more food related events. So do come and visit. We're kind of fun to hang out with on Tuesday nights. And then uh, just a reminder um, for those of you who are looking for careers outside of institutional medicine, I'm still conducting conference calls on Monday nights, all right? So let's get into the topic today. Um, I get emails every week from people, particularly now that it's becoming cold and flu season. Um, you know, what do I do to protect myself and how do I prevent COVID and all that sort of thing. And the best thing you can do is to keep yourself healthy. And if you're not healthy, to work at achieving optimal health. And a major part of that is losing weight if you're overweight. There are a lot of studies showing that carrying extra weight is a risk factor, not only for getting COVID-19, but for severe symptoms and for hospitalizations. Um, there are obvious causes of overweight. I mean, this is not a big mystery in many cases. I mean, too many calories consumed, not enough exercise. Those are a couple of them. But one that is often overlooked is prescription and over-the-counter drugs. These include all glucocorticoids, beta blockers, antihistamines, and then some antidepressants, antipsychotic drugs, diabetes medications, and progesterone-only oral contraceptives. According to a recent survey of over 11,000 American adults, 23% of them had taken at least one of these drugs during the last 30 days before the survey. The data showed that the use of the drugs was more common among obese people than people who were not obese. And the association can be actually bi-directional. What I mean by that is you use these drugs, which contributes to weight gain, which in turn leads to more of the conditions that require or that for which you would use some of these drugs, which then causes more weight gain. Well, you have to break that cycle somehow. And fortunately, it's possible for most people to resolve most of the conditions for which the drugs are prescribed with better diet, with hydration, um, healthier sleeping patterns, addressing stress, exercise, the right type of therapy, for example. These strategies will also result in weight loss and major gains toward optimal health. Now, I'll tell you why I want you to really, really think about what I'm saying and consider doing something about what I'm saying. There is no evidence that I've seen that shows that a person who's overweight and suffering from one or more health conditions can reduce their risk of anything by taking some supplements. That promise is being made by people. I, I, don't, I have not seen any evidence that shows that these supplements work for prevention. And I wish it was that easy. I wish health could be had with a $25 bottle of something. But the reality is health is only had by working at it, by practicing healthy habits. I mean, as you live, that determines your health. So um, I would just encourage everybody, particularly in these times, this is a good time to focus on yourself and getting healthy. And by the way, the stress of the last 18, 19 months has caused even people who really care about their health and have been pretty diligent up until now, some of them have fallen off the wagon. And um, we have a, a member course called uh, Lose the COVID-25. You've heard of Lose the, the Freshman 15. Well, it's the COVID-25. And I talked to a friend the other day who said, Pam, it's, it's not, I haven't gained the COVID-25, I've gained the, the COVID-50. And I think it's just too much time at home, not enough time outside, a lot of stress eating, stress drinking. And of course that can all be turned around really, really quickly. So um, this is a, this is, there's no time like the present. Don't wait for a new year's resolution and please don't wait until you get sick. 
that seems to be when people are the most motivated. And I'd love to back that process up and get people motivated from the get-go, all right? Well, that's all for today. As usual, I'll pass this on to anybody who you think would enjoy watching it, and I'll be back to you tomorrow with more news.